Good afternoon, Manon Grove. Evening. We are here for evening, whatever. <laughs> we are here for Manon Grove Boys Basketball on this fine evening of February 19th, 2019. We have Oregon Cougars. What are they? The yeah, Cougars? The, Cougar, the Panthers. Panthers. The Panthers. Same the thing. Potato, potato. Versus, of course, MG Silver Eagles. Ethan, what do you have some stats for us here, records-wise? All right, so Oregon 12 and seven, uh, and MG, of course, our boys 14 and five for tonight's game. Uh, last week we actually talked about this game. By the way, David and I back from last week's game. Steve's still in Florida, so. Oh, uh, I'm so happy we got to. Yeah, no offense, Steve. Yeah, no offense, Steve, but enjoy your time in Florida. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with things up here. I'm but sad we uh, didn't get a girls' game, though. Yeah, honestly, I was a little bit hyped because you know McKenna obviously doing really well on the girls' team, and it, it they're just overall coming together. It's such a great team. I'm kind of sad to see it come next year, and hope I have like really. I'm really hoping for a good team next year for the girls. Same with me. Let's go back to boys here. Take it away. Okay. So uh, a couple of stats so far for the boys, uh, an average of 65.8 points per game. Um, and Oregon over here, just a little little bit lower with an average of 59.1 coming in. Hey, hey, David. We're in the yellow. We're in the yellow. I know. Chill, chill, right. chill. Chill, the, chill. Yeah, chill, chill, chill. Anyway, so um, field, goals per, uh, field goals made. Uh, overall the season, uh, 274 for solid MG, uh, and a solid 385 overall for Oregon. So I'm looking forward to a great game because the stats, they look very, like, balanced. Like, you look at one and MG's higher, but you look at the other and you see Oregon so much higher. Looks and like uh, the issue from last week with the boys and, of course, for Milton, obviously, um, was the height. It looks like the height is pretty even. Look, uh, we got some tall guys, but um, overall around the same height, around 5'11". So um, uh, let's go back over. Looks like they're about to do some player intros here about in a minute. Yeah, um, overall, currently I'm just checking uh, the... Uh, not scores, but I am checking the overall standings for the Badger South Conference because I believe that MG is actually on top right now. Looks like uh, for the starting for Oregon, we have mostly uh, juniors and seniors, which is common, but then we, we have one freshman that we need to look up for, Ryan Panzer. Ryan Panzer is supposed to be allegedly very good. Let's see how he plays against other MG, more experienced teams. Yeah, um, well... MG overall conference is 10 and 2, but they are number number one on top, including conference. Of course, they're 14 and 7, uh, or 14 and 5 rather. But throughout conference, they're number one, so kind of hype. Oregon number two, of course. So this uh, 1v2 game. Yes, I think this will determine a lot for us. Looks like we have a big player turnout for the boys here, and we're going to go to the national anthem real quick. One special thanks to the Monona Grove High School Band for playing the Silver, uh, or not Silver Eagle National Anthem, but the National Anthem in general. It's very beautiful. Of course. Starting off with the Oregon bench. Looks like we have Erickson starting, and then of course with the no one look, Adam Yates, 6'4". Search a name, so you can pop 
right off, and I can just put in a stat. Looks like we got Logan accompanying them. Here we go. I don't know how uh, Steve does it with the uh, old timey uh, books and stuff. Uh, because we, like right here, I just got the whole list. Looks like we are having a senior night moment here, so we're just gonna spice it up a little bit. Thank you, senior. Stewart. It looks like it's gonna be Stuart Bond around here. Stuart Bonneron going to start off for MG. Interesting choice. I actually don't know. He's just, that, that they're just doing seniors. Um, are you sure? Yeah, because his shirt's not off. Oh, you are right. Anyway, um, he's actually not on the um, Monona Grove Badger South Conference roster. He is not, but if you look under it, it says managers, and you actually see Stuart Bonneron, which is interesting. <laughs> Imagine if it said managers and then points. <laughs> Carson Looks like Carson Antonson, of course. Valuable player to his team with those rebounds and long arms like we talked about last game. Average rebounds per game, 3.6 for Sam Howe. Big man. We were talking about Carson. Number 22, Sam Gronsky. There we go, Sam Gronsky, meatball. There we go, Steve Swagel player, Isaac Stinson, actually pulling through the last couple games, getting a lot more play time. Does it look like we have any um, predictions for the Milton team big scores here? Average point per, points per game for Isaac Stinson, 1.9. Some big players um, so far are for tonight's game. I will check that out. All right, thank you. Looks like we get Kyle, not another big guy on the team. Very good at driving the lane, but also very good on the outside when you need him. Always there for you. Looks like he's actually going to start today, too. I'm sorry, what was I looking up? Overall big players of the, oh, I almost said Whoa. Wilson, Oregon team. Number 13, or er, 34, Ethan Victorson with an average points per game of 16.5, ruling over the rest of his team by about seven points. Wow, wow, wow. Looks also, like he is actually only a sophomore too. Really, also ruling over in field goals made, field goals attempted, um, let's see, field, uh, free throws made, uh, free throw percentage, three pointers made, and almost three point percentage. So, sophomore for Oregon, look out for him. All right, speaking of sophomores, we have above seniors going. We have another starter introduced, Jordan Bishop, and now we have another one, Henry Houston. Looks like they're going to start so far today, too. So, we have Henry, Kyle, and Jordan starting today. Uh, I'm guessing this one's going to be Caden Nelson for probably who's describing him. Oh. Caden Nelson has a .950 for three-point percentage. Looks like they're actually talking about Sam Hepp. It looks like he is actually suited up. Is he going to play tonight after his injury? Wow, I believe so. Wow, it looks like he's going to pull through his team here in this tough game. Let's just, let's just look at Caden Nelson with that .95%. Uh, three point percentage. That is absolutely poggers, as the young kids would say. Looks like we're going to introduce the last teammate and starter for the night, which will be Caden Nelson. Sam Hep with a .793 three point percentage.
There we go. Big applause. His I've never heard K Dog. <laughs> Wow, this is going to be a really emotional. These teammates have been a team for a very long time. And it looks like, Ethan, while we get ready, um, I'm just going to run over the start for the Oregon team as they get announced. But, Ethan, do you have any more stats overall for uh, the team of Oregon? Overall, not really. I mean, of course you can look at the little stats like blocks, steals, and assists. But actually, overall for assists, they've got 316 total assists uh, between each other and 541 total rebounds for the year. Let's see. Uh, do you think that MG will play aggressive like they did against Milton, or do you think they're going to be playing a little more safe because they realize that they're playing against a very valuable team? I feel like they're going to play that aggressiveness unless they realize how aggressive Oregon is going to play. All right, we got net at the tip. Here we go. They get MG it. MG recovers. Let's go. Here we go. Houston's on the outside. Passes up. Jordan Bishop at the top. Kane Nelson calling plays. Here we go. Net going to drive in. Back to Hep at the key. Hep at the key. Colin plays again. Looks like we got Kane in the corner calling stuff. Here we go. He's going to drive in. Ooh. Fakes the pass. To, oh, Jordan on the outside. Let's see what he does with it. He's going to drive in. Pass it off. Kane Nelson going to drive in. Kick it out. Net. Net up to Houston. Top of the key. Houston's going to dribble a little bit. Pass off Caden. Caden's going to look like drive-in. Pass Sam. Sam's going to drive in. Does a little one-two. Juke gets it. That's two. Sam Hepp on his feet. Mobility is insane with that kid. Right after an injury. I expect nothing less from him. Let's see what. Here we go. Number three on Milton. I keep saying Milton. We got Oregon team pass to 34. 34 drives in. Gets tipped. Complete. What's that blocked? That looks like a block, but they Henry also Houston. called a foul. That's going to be at the line for number 34, which is going to be Ethan, Ethan Victorson. Victorson. It's going to take a while. I'm going to start using numbers and slowly get to names. Let's hopefully we go. We have uh, Victorson at the top. First one. Affirmative. Got to start off with the good stuff. Second one. It's up. And it's down. Big man Ethan Victorson to look out for tonight. Looks like Ethan's going to be doing stats. Last time we did not have stats, so let's hope we can keep track of those and get you play by play instead of uh, kind of just guessing how much. We got Jordan Bishop at the top calling plays. Henry Houston's going to cut down. He's going to drive a little bit, kick out to Sam Hep, left side of the court. He's going to drive around the outside, does a spin move, tries to drive in. Stops rebound, dribble. Sorry about that. Back to Sam Hep after passing to Kyle Nett. Kane driving in, trying to get stuck, very congested in there. Sam's going to push him, kick back, Jordan, top, fix the pass off. Looks like we have net drive in, kick back to Jordan. Jordan's going to keep running around the court, pass back. Henry has a shot, does not take it, kicks back to Sam. Sam with the three, up, negative. We got 44, which is Adam Yates. Passes to three, which is our boy, Victorson. No, now I'm sorry. No one look. I'm thinking that we're going to have a lot of, uh, actually, recorded stats this time because uh, I have this new setup with the whole computer situation and uh, just quick searches and bada bing bada boom. What we should have is a button know. that you press. Ooh, I don't know how Steve does it though. I don't know. We have Caden Nelson Recovered takes the ball. MG. Drives in. No passes. Yup. Net gets the rebound. Easy claps. We have three. Three is three is look. We got to remember that. Three is look. Three is look. And wait. Five is Victorson. So we got looks like three Victorson. No. Look. Oh. 34, drives in, fakes the pass back up for two, negative. Looks like Sam has to get the rebound. Throws it down court to Kane Nelson. Look at it, look far. F oh. oh, that was a far pass. He looks like he jumps out of bounds, trying to get to it. Throws it back under his legs or around him. Could not see it happened so fast. Hits the back of the backboard, goes out of bounds. Looks like we have Look going to take it up for them. And we're going to have Victorson on the side. I'm going to watch for him. He's going to, oh, Look going to drive back. Pass it back to 34. 34 takes a three. Nope, off the rim. Looks like they're going to call it out on Oregon. Who is 34? We got to keep talking about this guy. That's Victorson. Oh, they're two Victorson. Are they really? Yes. Oh, shoot. So we're going to call them Ethan and Eric. Yes, I think they're brothers. Looks like we got Houston driving in. Pass Sam. Sam's going to drive in. Gets it taken from him. They're going to call a foul. That is excellent. That is, I'm pretty sure that was keep it under a flop, but it looks like it worked out in MG's flavor here. We're going to have Jordan be passing it right under the hoop. Already getting some booze. Jordan Bishop looking for somebody. Kyle Nett way at the top. Let's get some. Pass over to Sam. Looks like we got Houston up at the top. 
Caden gonna drive in. Caden's gonna flex back the pass. Oh, face a handoff. Sep drives in, puts it up, negative. We're gonna have number 11, which is gonna be Carter Erickson. Oh, there's a lot of names. Five drives in, pass to the three. Three under the hoop, trying to find somebody under the legs. Let's see, Jordan Bishop recovers it. Oh, dives to get it out of the bounds. Flicks it back up, what a great play by Jordan. That's just pure effort right there. Okay, Nelson gonna drive in. Henry Houston gonna fake the three, gonna drive in himself. Puts it up, negative. Oh, they're gonna call it. Looks like what happened, Kyle not trying to put it back. Gets blocked on the way up. Ethan, you wanna take over for a second? Yeah, might as well. Um, back out to Caden Nelson. Caden Nelson on drive, but pass it back out to Henry Houston. Henry Houston pushing up over to Jordan Bishop. Excellent ball movement here. Back out top to the key. Henry Houston for the three. Ding, ding, ding. Holy crap. That looks like it was going to bounce right out. Henry Houston for three. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Looks like we got a score 72 MG. See if our AV can keep it up. If you're listening on the radio, you can tune into Manoa Grove. Oh, sorry, Manoa Community Media on YouTube or Facebook and watch it live. Looks like number 11, which is Carter Erickson, pass it up to five, which is Victorson or Eric. We're gonna call him Eric. Five puts it up. Eric. Eric Victorson puts it up for two. Puts it seven to four. Caden Nelson gonna dri dribble down nonchalantly, as I like to say. Okay, he's gonna do the one-two, pass over to Hep. Hep loses it, no, nope, has passed back. Looks like we have Caden at the top. Jordan off to the side, looks like they're gonna do the old pass back trip. Caden's gonna drive in, loses it, practically hands it off to number 44, Adam Yates. Looks like Luke is gonna drive down, pass across court to Eric Victorson. Eric Victorson up for three, bounce off the rim. Great rebound by number 11, pass it out to 34. 34 takes a shot, negative, looks like. Jordan Bishop's gonna get it at the end, passes cross. Ends up with Henry Houston, oh sorry. I knew that was a fast play, sorry about that. Ends up taking the three, does not make it. Oh, look, losing on the way down. Look moving in, pass to 34, 34 outside, back to 11. 11 outside, looking what to do, he's gonna drive in. Puts it up, gets kicked back on the ground, 44 is gonna drive in. Oh, that's a, that's a play to double dribble. I am sorry. He literally jumped up and down, and they did not call that. I'm, unless I don't know basketball. I've been I'm, traveling. Really. Oh what? Oh sorry. That that's ridiculous. Anyway. Sam will draw the foul. Looks like Caden Nelson's gonna pass, get the three. Negative 11 gets it. 11, that's a Carter, Carter Erickson. Puts back to look. Look's gonna happen at the top of the key, pass 11. 11's gonna look what to do with it. 10, crossing in, does not take it though. 34, which is our boy, Ethan Victorson. Gets it lost, we have 11, cuts back to three, 11. They're double teaming, 34 takes a shot, completely air balls it. And we're gonna have Caden drive down. Not really waiting for his team. Houston far out, negative. Looks like 11's gonna take it up and start Carter Erickson. Seeing a lot of missed shots tonight. Only seven to four I believe so far. Man, I don't know how you're keeping track of these stats. There's not many misses. I mean makes. Oh, I'm falling apart too over here. We have 34, which is our boy Ethan Victorson. Ethan Victorson uh, Nothing, he's gonna dribble around. 11 drives in, puts it up. No, gets rebound by Look. Look, it's shoved away by Sam Hep. Sam Hep's grabbing it, passes to Caden Nelson. Caden Nelson's gonna take it up. It looks like we have Stinson gonna sub in. Let's see what he's gonna sub in for. Hep passing around, pass 21. So Lance. Lance takes it, oh, back out. He's gonna drive in, kick it back to Sam Hep. Sam Hep's gonna put it up. Yup. Sam Hep, classic three-point shooter and still aggressive in that paint. Looks like we're gonna have Oregon take a timeout here. Really low scoring game compared to last game, which was um, final score. Can you get the final score? 
mm. last game. Looks like um, it's only 10 to four and uh, about five minutes into the first half. Last game versus Fort Atkinson, 66 to 43. Ooh. We got to get some names into our head. We got number five at Eric Victorson, and then I'm pretty sure either brother or related is Ethan Victorson, which is 34, and of course 44 is Adam Yates. Bump, bump, bump. All right, we're gonna be back on the court with 10 minutes and 55 seconds to play. Looks like Oregon's gonna rebound it from look into Erickson. Oh, Victorson, man, I can't. 34 is gonna take it out of the top, which is Victorson, and again, Victorson over. Gets stolen by Jordan Bishop, crosses. Okay to behind, dodges the block and gets the two. We're gonna have 34, which is our boy, Ethan Victorson. Looks gonna take it up, passes to Victorson. That is Ethan Victor, no, Eric. Eric Victorson. Oh my gosh, I can't take this Ethan. 34, looking for someone to stop his dribble, passes up to 11. They're gonna call it on him. Looks like Weefel's calling him to back them off. Looks Always like getting a little aggressive. Not Carter aggressive Erickson's gonna rebound it behind the half court line to look. Looks gonna be calling some plays, calling people around. We got 11 driving up, 11's gonna cut back in the middle. Look does not like that. Looks gonna drive in, snap back. He's gonna drive in again, does a one, two, pass to 10. 10 on the outside, gets stuck, five open. Victorson up, oh, in and out. Tips back to 34. Looks like Isaac Simpson's already down the court. <laughs> Look going around, he's very, they're trying to do something with it. We got Lance almost falling over on his feet. Pick coming in, loses dribble, 11 going up, tries to shoot it, and that's in. That's textbook, textbook, and that was Carter Erickson. Erickson, Victorson, Victorson. Lance is gonna drive in, loses it, back to Caden Nelson, always fall back. Stinson gonna drive in, and Caden does not expect it, his pass is behind him. Looks like it's gonna be Oregon's ball. We have some subs coming in, we have Trey Logan, not expecting to see this early in the game. We also have Sam Hep and Henry Houston. Looks like we have 14 coming in too. 14 for... Oh, I must be blind. We have 10 coming in, 44 under the hoop. Doesn't know what to do with it, trying to find someone to pass back to. Passes it just out of bounds. I don't know what that was about, but it looks like it's gonna be MG's ball. As always, Kane's gonna take it up for the top of the key. Logan coming around. Logan trying to do something, pass back to Nelson. Nelson's gonna try to drive in, does a one-two. Cross course, Sam Hep. Sam Hep's gonna look to go with it. Back to Cannon Nelson. Cannon Nelson drives the lane by himself, puts it up. Almost gets the rebound back, but it looks like Look comes away with it. Crosses down to number five, almost gets away from him. Looks like Eric Victorson's gonna try to do something with it. He's gonna drive him by himself, puts it up. Behind, no. Looks like they're gonna go an inbound. Most of a sub coming in. Number 23, Zach Tower, getting ready. We have Victorson coming at the line. Let's see the first one. Looks like Carson Antis is gonna take off his jersey too. First one is made. Puts the score at 12-2-7, MG. All right, Tower coming in for 44. And Antinson coming in. And Lance also coming in for Jordan Bishop. Lots of subs coming in here with the 8.48 left to play. Second one at the line. It's up. No. Looks like Kay and Nelson's gonna take it up. They're gonna play a little bit faster right after. They got some fresh guys in, Carson Anson down at the bottom. Pass Sam Hep cross court. Sam Hep's making plays right in the guy's face. He's gonna drive in, hand off. K. Nelson's gonna drive in by himself. Kicks back out to Lance. Lance gonna drive in. Kicks back back out to K. Nelson. Back and forth. He's gonna kick it back out to Sam Hep. Throws to Logan. Logan puts no. Does not put it up. Fakes it. K. Nelson puts up for the three. No. Lance tries to get to that rebound right on it, but not tall enough. We're gonna have Tower coming in 
All right, Ethan's got some stats for us right after we have a break here. 11's gonna drive in, kick it back out. Who is that, number five? Back up to look at the top. Looks fake in the pass. Drives in by himself, loses it. And there we go, we get Kaden Nelson taken away with the ease, gonna drive down. Eight minutes left to play, 207. Cross court pass, not cross court, far down court. Oh my gosh, Ethan, I am falling apart. You wanna take this play? All right, Kaden Nelson back over to Logan. Logan over to Lance Nelson, up outside. Sam Heppel hold it up top. Trying to fake out his player, number 11. Isaac, or uh, Carson, oh, pass over to Trey Loken, but intercepted. Pass from number 23 over to Eric Victorson, intercepted by Sam Hepp, up to Caden Nelson. Caden up for two, but it is missed. Ball was recovered by Oregon, but there will be a foul. I'm back. Ethan, have you been catching up or have you missed some stuff? I've, I've got everything. Really? Everything? Everything. All right. We got some kids looking at us. Looking at us funny. We're not Steve. Too bad. All right, we got to look at the top pass. This is number 10, which is Panzer. We have not seen Panzer this game. He's, oh, Lance on him tight. Carson, oh. oh, Sam Hep goes for the steal. Does not miss. Make it. 23, going to draw the foul. It's going to be a jump ball, which is going to go at MG. We have Jordan Bishop going in for Gay Nelson. All right, looks going to inbound, and we got a very spread out inbound play here. Calling for number 23. 23 is going to drive in, face kickback out to 34, which is the other Victorson, if I am correct. Yep. It is. We got 10, 23. 23 at the top, going to drive in. He might take it. He's going to jump, get stuffed oh. by Sam Hepp. You just can't fight that height. He didn't even jump for that. Sam Hepp's going to call the play. Oh! oh. <laughs> he, threw, he threw that right under the hoop. Inbounds it right to number 11. Number 11 is going to take that up for an easy layup. I don't think you can really predict that. That was Erickson with the layup. Uh, Sam Hepp looks like he was going to try to throw it to Isaac Simpson on the hoop. It hit the hoop and went back. So Isaac Simpson up at the top looking for his player. Go imagine ahead. the alley hoop. Yeah, it would never happen. <laughs> we have Jordan Bishop at the top looking for a teammate pass it's over to Sam Hepp. Sam Hepp looking for something. Decides to go back to Isaac Simpson. Isaac Simpson going to do the old one two spin move, drives in. Nope, decides to take it back. He was wide. He's going to drive him himself again, takes it up. Two, Isaac and that's going to draw the end one. Crap. And they wow. are happy. I am, I'm getting a lot of boos. Are you kidding me? They were literally talking about sportsmanship in the beginning of this game, and we have Oregon players and stands booing at it. That's just ridiculous in a high school game. From what I've heard, Oregon plays pretty dirty. I've not seen too much oh, pushing so far. But I see. Isaac Stinson's point did not count. Oh, really? That's interesting. Let's make sure our technical team knows that. Looks like Luke's going to go up to the top, find someone. 34 sets pick. Does not take it, though. 11 at the top. Hands off to Victorson. Victorson. Oh, we got both Victorsons out. Uh-oh. We got 44, which is our boy Yates. Yates going to pass it back to five. Victorson's going to do the old one two on Jordan Bushup. Packs back. Okay, Nelson gets a tip on that. They're going to call a travel. That's excellent defense by Jordan Bushup that called that ball. They really put pressure on him, trying to get that ball away. Sam Hepp inbounds it. Okay, Nelson's going to take this one up as always. Okay, Nelson hands off. Jordan Bishop at the top, passes around the ring. Kid Nelson at the top, going to take the three himself. Nope, right off the brick. Gets a tip back to Jordan Nelson, going to pass back to Hips, going to take the three himself. No, off the rim again. We got four, 34, Victorson going to take it up himself now too. Oh, just goes right around him, tries to pack back. 44 gets it, and there we go, Kaden Nelson, he's all over the court, gonna drive it up himself, and gets a two. I'm serious, he literally blocks a pass, gets stolen from it, and steals it back from a different player. I don't know how he does it, but he does. It looks like we have a player down on the court. Number 44, Adam Yates. 
look, looking over him and the athletic trainers are going off him. Ethan, while we had this break with four minutes, 50 seconds to play, MG14, guess nine. You have some stats for us about this game. All right, so, so far in this game, we've actually seen a lot more points missed than made. Uh, so far, a total of nine, nine points missed by MG compared, uh, Three total three-pointers missed, but a total of two made overall through MG's three-pointers. If we look at their two-pointers, so far a total of six, eight points, uh, and eight points missed. So they're pretty even overall so far. But if we go over to Oregon, a total of six points made for two-pointers, and a total of three points made for three-pointers, putting them at a total score of nine points so far, 12, 14-9 nine so far in this game. Uh, Oregon actually missing a majority of their points. Two pointers, uh, they've missed a total of 12 total points just off of two pointers. And they've missed a total of 12 just off of three pointers. So overall, they're taking a lot of shots. Just a few problems with making those shots go in. Alrighty. Can we get some stats on just Yates himself here? So far, Yates missed, has missed one two pointers and has had one foul so far on the field. All right. Court. <laughs> I hate to say it, it's not going to be too big of an effect to the game, but if they lose one of their backup players, um, that's going to be huge. They're going to have to pull up another one from their bench. Looks like uh, players are going to go back on the field. I don't know what's going to happen. They're court. still down a player. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they have another player on the court for them, so let's see if they're just going to move them away from the field. Court, why do I keep saying field, Ethan? No. Ethan, I got the ACT tomorrow. I'm falling apart. Looks like Adam Yates is going to walk away from that spot, so I think he'll be fine and probably be back in this game as my prediction. Oh. Ha. All right, we got the Eric Victorson taking it up and 34 number. Oh, Victorson. Look at the top, gonna drive in himself. Gets stopped by another player, back to 15. 15 gonna go around the ring. 11's gonna look for a player, back up to look at the top. Trey Logan doing his classic square up move. Back to 15, 15 looking for the three. He's gonna drive and kick it back to 11. 11's gonna be waiting for his players, looking for a teammate down the court. 15 in the corner, 15 gonna take the three. Yup, that's number 15, Ryan Taplick. That's a new guy, probably going in for our boy, Adam Yates. Okay, Nelson at the top, we have a pick from, uh, who is it? Kyle Nett, sorry. Ethan, I might need some new glasses. Trey Logan look for a player, he's gonna drive him himself, gonna kick back to Kay Nelson. Do you have a new something if you haven't had them in the first place? Hold on, he goes up, Kyle Nett gonna go up, he's gonna get the call, foul call on him. Looks like Nett is gonna go in the line for two. I do, do wear glasses every now and then. You go really? ahead. I've never seen you wear glasses. That's because I've never worn them. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. First one from Nat. He's going to do his little ritual. The one, two, up, and down. Second one is going to go up. Just confirm Kyle Nett did make that correct. All right. I was not watching, so <laughs> I got distracted by you being distracted. Looks going to drive in. I got distracted oh. by Nathaniel distracting me. Oh, come on. Oh, Nathaniel. Victorson going to drive in. Nope, get blocked. Kyle Nett's going to pass it to Jordan Bishop. Jordan Bishop's going to take this one up. Trey Logan in the corner. Nope, going to pass it to Kane Nelson coming around the top. Going to drive in after the pick. Nope, back Trey Logan. He, Logan's going to drive in. Kick back. Oh, looks like Luke's getting on this whole thing. Sam Hep does a one-two spin move, pass to Jordan Bishop right on the hoop, puts it up for an easy two-pointer. Looks like it's gonna be 18 to 12 MG. Three minutes left to play. What? What's this? Rest making calls? What's going on down on the court? I do not understand this. I've seen a lot of uh, aggressive tendencies from this game so far. That's yes, something I'm used to. All right. We got Luke driving down slowly, but surely crossing the half court. Now, as you guys can see on your screen, if you're watching Monona Community Media on YouTube or Facebook, 
Looks going to dance around the outside. Gonna, oh, cut to 10. Cut 10 was not expecting it. We got Victorson going to drive in. 10 on the outside. Going to cut to the other Victorson inside. Uh, Victorson going to pass up to the other Victorson <laughs> up at the top. He's dancing around. Going to drive in. Pass back to Look. Look's going to get stuck again. Oh, my gosh. Victorson going to be at the top again. Jordan Bishop's going to drive in. Victorson's going to drive in, post up against Sam Hep. He had no chance. And it looks like he's going to call the, oh, what is it called? I forgot the penalty name or foul name. But it looks like he's going to go up at the line. That is Eric Victorson for you guys at home. So far, Eric Victorson one for two at the free throw line. Jordan Bishop has been having this outside ring on lockdown. They just cannot drive in without kicking back out. First one, right off the brick, right back to him. Honestly, Ethan, I cannot take this. Their defense is too good, and then it ends up he's just going to drive against Sam Hep head on and going to draw the foul. Second one, Lance going in for Loken. Second one's going to go whoop and down. All right, Caden Nelson up top, playing around. He'll, try, he'll toss it over to Bishop. Bishop holding on to the ball, except passing over to Lance Nelson out on the outside. Little fumble of a dribble, dribble there. Wow. Uh, Lance Nelson over to Sam Hep. Sam will just chill out a little bit. Sam driving the lane, back out to Lance Nelson. Lance will hold on to it instead of the. Uh, he'll fake it back out to Sam Hep. <laughs> yeah. Sam Hep to Kyle Net. Back to Sam Hep. Sam up for two, and he scores. Man, you can't keep up with them. They can run faster than you can talk. Here we go, two minutes left to play. Looks like MG has a seven point lead. Looks gonna take it up, Lance on him. Looks gonna drive in, takes himself, gets stuck by three MG players. Back out to 11, 11 takes it two, and yup, and that is Carter Erickson. Okay, Nelson's gonna take it up. He's gonna drive in right away aggressively. Back out to Sam Hep. Sam Hep's gonna go around, driving him himself up. No foul. We have a sub getting ready to come in. That is number 23, Zach Towers. Zach Towers is going to come in and sub out for number 15, which is Ryan Taplick. Inbound from MG. So far, this game flying by. Currently, one minute 34 left with tw at 20 to 15. All right, Jordan uh, Jordan Bishop at the top. Going to throw it back. Sam Hep. Sam Hep's going to go over to Kyle Nutt in the corner. Back up to Lance Nelson, top of the key. Going to cut back. They're going to call it Oregon's ball. I'm very confused what's going on in this game. I don't know. This is where we need Steve. This is where we need Steve. I don't know why. Uh, what happened. They were just dribbling around. But looks like we have Isaac Stinson's going to sub in. He's going to sub in for number five, Sam Hep. All right. Looks like we got Victorson going to drive up. Looks like the pass getting pretty pushy already. 11 cutting back for the, oh, right under the hoop. Look was there, ready for it, puts up, easy two. Nelson going to drive down. He's going to drive himself, kick it back to Lance. Lance going to fake the three, back up to Nelson. Nelson's going to do a little dance at the top, back up, handoff. Jordan Bishop going to throw it over Lance. Lance wide for the three. Right off the brick, looks like it's going to go behind the backboard. It's going to be out of bounds. Looks like it's going to be Oregon's ball. That play was bars. Here we go, 11 going to inbound it to Erickson. It looks like Carson's going to sub in or get ready for the sub. Let's hope we can get in with 45 seconds left to play. It's interesting that they're subbing with this much time left. Seems kind of pointless. 11 up the top, Erickson. It looks like they're just going to run out the time, though. I think they do have to shoot, though. It looked like Victorson up at the top, looking for someone to do it, trying to waste out as much time before they finally like to shoot. Look up at the top. They're just dancing around. It looks like 15 is going to cut. No go. 34, Victorson again. I'm actually kind of proud, with my, proud of myself because I just went back and checked all through my scores to make sure they match up to what's on the scoreboard. And it's all accurate, so. Wow. Looks like Carson's not going to sub in. I'm pretty sure they called timeouts, a timeout. Uh, Cougars or Panthers. Cougars. So they just 
waste down the clock and make sure that finally they have enough time to just get one shot off. Probably a three and tied up before they go into halftime. Honestly, basketball, like any other sport, is all a mental game, and being tied at halftime rather than down is a huge thing. Looks like Band's going to start to play, and while Band starts, Ethan, take it away with your stats here. Yeah, so I don't know how well uh, Oregon's going to be able to get off that three because so far they've missed way more than they've made. Uh, missing a total of four, and they've only made one so far in this game. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Oregon's going to be able to tie up this game. They are in the bonus, so if MG does happen to draw the foul, uh, maybe there will be a slight chance that they can pull it back 19-20 to 20 before going into the halftime. Uh, hopefully, though, uh, MG will defend and uh, keep going. So with that, David, I think we are back. All righty, checking up with their technical team. Ten seconds so left far, to play. Though, so far, though, one of our uh, key players that we were talking about, Eric Victorson, number 34 uh, for Oregon, staying strong with that 2 and 0. Oh, or two. That's Ethan for Victorson, two. not Eric. Yes, you're right. You're right. Two for two at free throws. Here we go. Inbound to who is that? Victorson. Back to Victorson, number 34. Back to Victorson, number five. Back to 34. Victorson. Victorson uh, cuts into Luke. Victorson gonna take the three up at the top. It's up. Right off does not make it, so that's going to halftime at 20 to 17. Five timeouts at left and three timeouts for Oregon. That does not matter in the second half. Just giving you the information. Um, it looks like we might have a dancing performance with the little kids, so stay tuned for that. We're going to cut our audio, and we'll see you back in the second half. Overall recap of the game of the first half. Going into halftime, 20 to 17. MG big players. Uh, no one really sticking out so far in the first half. Caden Nelson only with four points throughout the, throughout the game. Uh, Sam Hep only, actually, Sam Hep with the highest score of the first half for MG uh, with uh, two, for, uh, wow, with two two-pointers and one three-pointer, over, overall averaging to seven points. And if we go over to Oregon for the first half, a uh, few actually key players, uh, Eric Victorson um, getting one two-pointer one two pointer for two points, and then, <laughs> wow, that, that rolled off well. And then two free throws, uh, but he is two free throws made, three free throws missed. Um, but then we go down to Ethan Victorson. Uh, he hasn't made any points overall, uh, but he, ha he is two for two overall with free throws. So excited to see what this one brings. Um, Carter Erickson actually bringing in uh, six points alone. So Ethan, I'd just like to mention how low of a scoring game this is. There's not much really right? to talk about when we're, our combined points are barely hitting four, actually not even hitting 40. Yeah, it's 37 total, wow. So let's hopefully we can try to break 50 on each team in this game. Looks like our starters are going to be Jordan Bishop, uh, Henry Houston, Kyle Nutt, Caden Nelson, and Sam Hep. Looks like we're going to inbound Caden Nelson to start this off. Caden Nelson dancing around up at the top. We're going to have Jordan Nelson throwing it around the ring. Caden Nelson up at the top, at the top. Oh, at the top, at the top, at the top. Boom. Looks like Henry Houston good driving Kyle Nutt right on the hoop. Puts it up. Easy two points. Number three, which is Nolan Look, gonna take it up, call and plays. We got 44, which is our boy Adam Yates. Oh, Adam Yates is back in. Sorry, I missed that play. I was looking at Adam Yates. We're gonna have 11 at the top, passing around at Victorson. Victorson takes up the three. 44 cuts the lane, gets blocked with the back arm. Oh, dancing around through the legs. It's gonna be Oregon's ball. Looks like Kyle Nutt had the steal on that and lost it through his legs. Inbounding for Oregon is going to be 34, Victorson. Victorson going to throw it up to Adam Yates. Adam Yates looking around, looking around. Cuts back Nolan. Nolan with the pop shot does not count. Rep is very adamant about that shot not counting. Looks like it was going to be a foul on Nelson. Victorson's going to inbound it to Nolan. Look under the hoop. Puts it up. Easy two points for them. He was wide, not even getting covered. Looks like we have Caden Nelson taking it down and getting guarded by, Ye oh, oh, that was fast. 
Easy three points. We have uh, number, who is that? Who is, number 11, Henry Houston. I know the names, not the numbers. You know what I'm saying, saying? Look, going up, dancing around with Houston up there. Nolan's going to drive in, get stuck, tries to find somebody, tries to get it ripped out, puts it up himself off the brick, does not count. I'm sorry, did you say tries to get it ripped out? Tries to get it ripped out. We have Henry Houston right up, takes a three, looks good. Henry Houston on fire with his third three of the game. Easy money, that's going to bring up almost to a oh, nine-point lead. Number three, pass around, Erickson drives 44, Adam Yates up the post, easy two points. Now they're scoring, I jinxed it, here we go. Oh, I have Sam Hepp taking up the top, gonna drive in, kicks it back. Up for two is Kyle Nett. Looks like it's gonna take a timeout. Time I'm out, assuming MG. Oregon, really? Yeah. MG? That wasn't MG timeout, Ethan. You're always right. She never questioned you. Yeah, that's right. I mean, what? <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a nine point lead, 30 to 21. Only minute of game time, and they scored that many points. Absolutely poggers. Looks like, I don't know why MG called a timeout here. It's Winthrop. It is Winthrop. Looks like Oregon's going to be out on the field, and they're going to field. Why do I keep saying field, Ethan? I mean, the biggest, Ethan. the other biggest event we've done is football. Ethan, Ethan every time I say field, you got to punch me in the arm, okay? I'm not going to do that. But you see Jordan Bishop and Sam Hepp out there, and you think to yourself, football field. All right, we got Just number three, Nolan Look. Erickson driving up slowly, getting tapped. We have Victorson passes right to Kay Nelson. Kay Nelson loses it. Looks like it goes out of bounds, but Kyle Neck gets it back. Pass back. Oh my gosh, Kay Nelson. Kay Nelson drives down, puts it up. Completely air balls, looks like. We're going to have 23. Grab the rebound, and that is Zach Tower. And we're going to have Nolan Look take it back up. Nolan Look taking it slowly, pass to Victorson. Victorson looking, calling for a pick. 23 calls a pick. Works out great, 11, which is our boy Erickson. 34, back to Erickson in the paint. Kick it back out to Nolan. Nolan wide open for the three. Easy cash money. Again, Nelson gonna take it up at the top. What do you talk about? Cash money's a fair term for a shot. Then have Sam Hepp gonna drive in, get stuck, nowhere to go. Pass cross court. Henry Houston up for the three. No, oh. off the break. Close though. Oh, tips it around, dances in the top of the air. It looks like it's gonna be Oregon's ball. Erickson and Bonnie to look. Look. You know, I, I just might be stats new or uh, Steve's new stat guy. I mean, possibly as a possible thing to do. Looks like we got Vickerson up the top. Back to Nolan. Look, Nolan. Look. Face the overhead pass. You're gonna slowly dance around at the top. Gonna get double team. Back to look. Look for the three. It's up. Bank shot. No. Oh, you gotta oh. be kidding me. He gets hit. Okay, Nelson shaking that one off, shaking his head. He's going to take it off and go ham on him. He's going to drive in. Pass back to Jordan Nelson. Jordan Nelson dancing around. Pass to Colin Nett. Colin Nett dancing around. There we go. Sam Hepp in the corner for three. No. Oh. Going to rip it out of the hands. It's going to be jump ball, which is going to be Oregon. That's well played by number, is that three? No, 23, our boy, Zach Tower. Looks like Victorson's gonna take this up. That is Ethan Victorson, not Eric Victorson, and not to be confused with Erickson. <laughs> gotcha. Wow, this no, team I'm is looking. one confusing set of names. <laughs> <laughs> we got 11, 11's gonna drive in up for the three. Nope. They're gonna go up to the line for that. We're gonna have Nolan Look shooting for two. Oh wait, never I mind, it's gonna be so, an inbound. Yes. <laughs> He points there, man. I'm going by points, okay? <laughs> points and crowd ooze is what I'm making my calls off of. We have no one look inbound in. Victorson's going to be in the corner. He might be wide for this. Oh, he's going to run right next to him. Cross. No. It's going to be right back to Nolan after passing it in. Going to go after the top. Victorson for three at the top. Easy drain. Textbook play. That was, that's very good. E inbound back out. It looks like it's going to be a timeout. I did not see who called it. I'm assuming it's probably going to be MG. 
Remember that one game that no, just didn't have timeouts? No, it was Oregon. Timeouts? Oh, wow. I'm surprised by that one. You remember that one game that just didn't have timeouts? I do remember that. I, you I also remember that time when Oregon and MG have been taking a lot of timeouts, and Oregon only has two left with 13 minutes left to play, and it's going to look like a close game. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I figured out why. Um, I talked to Ms. Gehrig about it. Uh, big Gehrig guy. Okay. Way. I love him. Uh, what, a, what a math teacher. Anyway. Uh, but there's a new guy who occasionally does the board, uh, and when things get overwhelming for him, I, I can see how it happens, but uh, he just says uh, timeouts are one of the least important things in the board, so he worries about other things. Interesting. Looks like we're going to have Henry Houston and Bonnie Caden Nelson to start off after the timeout taken by Oregon. Caden Nelson nonchalantly jogging up, probably my fastest run right there. Pass to Henry Houston, dancing around the top of course. We got Sam Hep picked by Henry Houston. Does not work out. They got the switches down. Kay Nelson back at the top. Going to reset their play. Nobody on the right side of the court. I bet someone's going to cut. Nope. Jordan Nelson up to the side. Going to cut back. <laughs> Sam Hep for the three. What a flop. Jordan Nelson. <laughs> Jordan Nelson. Jordy Nelson. I don't know. Looks like that was Sam Hep on the play for two, which puts it at 32 27. We have an injured player down, number 11. Car I'm, I'm, I'm Erickson. Oh, it's Erickson again. No, Erickson was not there injured. Last time it was Adam Yates. Oh. Come on, know your Oregon players. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> well, while we're on this little break, actually a really eventful half as both teams have gained points. Um, start yes, they do gain points. Okay, well, coming out of halftime at 2017, now at 32 27. MG is scoring a total of 12 points, while Oregon scoring a total of 10 points. Currently a five-point game as Oregon's brought it back a little bit. Look at that ref down there. Dribbling around. Dribbling around. Anyway, Sam Hep coming up with three total two-pointers and one total three-pointer. Henry Houston coming out of the half with two three-pointers for the squad. All right, so we've got Eric Yates up. T sorry, uh, Nolan. Uh, Nolan, look over to Ethan Yates. Oh, wow, Ethan. Okay, so David, you're gonna have to take this one over because yes, I cannot. I, I just can't English. I wow. Got my, I've got my water break, so I'm fine. Okay, Nelson, gonna drive it up. Pass back to 11. Sorry, sir. I will punch you in the arm for that one, though. All righty. Jordan Bishop dancing around. Passes to Sam Hep. Sam Hep's gonna look. We have, uh, oh, someone posted up. Did not say who, though. Okay, Nelson going to drive. No passes to. Oh, Jordan Bishop under the hoop. Oh, Easy. Oh. oh, he missed it. We have number 10, which is Ryan Panzer, or Ring Panzer for the rebound. Looks going to take it up. His floppy hair. What a guy. 10 calling for it. Drives. No, nope. does not take the pass. That was a beautiful cut, though. 15. Going to dance it around the outside. Oh, Victorson going in for the loses it. Kane Nelson going to drive and he loses it too on the ground and it's going to go out about an Oregon ball. Looks like Kane Nelson's looking for the foul maybe for a trip or a push. He does not get it though and that's a five point game. We're going to have number 15 and my phone died. Not died, shut off. Whoopsie. That's number 15. Taplick. Taplickson is going to inbound it to a look. Looks like there was a sub. It looks like Isaac Stinson's now in for Jordan Bishop. Jordan Bishop's looking at his jaw there after the ball hit him in the last couple of plays. 11's going to drive in, get stopped by Kyle Neck, going to pass back 10, shoots it around top of the key. Look, looks looking for somebody, looks looking for somebody. We have 11 going to drive in, going to look for somebody to kick back to. Victorson up, negative. And that's going to be Houston with the rebound. Kanan going to pass to Isaac. Isaac wide open, could take in the three, does not. Looks like it's going to be MG's ball. Currently out in the court, we've got Carter Erickson, Ethan Victorson, no Eric Victorson, uh, Nolan Look, who else, who else, who else we got out there? Number 10, Rain Paz Panzer. And Ryan Taplick. All right, Ethan. We're going to have Sam up in the corner of the court. What is he going to do with it? He's going to drill back out to the top of the key, slowly, nonchalantly side. Oh, nice flop back guy on that there. Isaac Simpson is going to look to drive in. Henry Houston still just playing in that corner. He's going to try to drive out, kick back. Henry Kyle Houston, Nett. big player for the night. He is. Kyle not dancing around in the corner, trying to do the old one-two. 
gets back, stuck right under the leg of Sam Hepp. Sam Hepp still gets it under himself. Looks like Kate Nelson's going to be desperate. Hey, okay, he's going to take wow. the three. Easy money. First That's going to put it at 3-5 to 27. He shot one. Uh, he shot two, missed one. Really? That's 50% if you don't know. So far, he's not on par for his average. All right, 10 puts it up with a little pop shot. That is Rain Pansner puts it up for two, and makes it a six-point game. Kaden Nelson's going to drive up to the zone. One, two, kicks back to Isaac Stinson. Isaac Stinson's going to throw it to the top. Henry Houston back to Sam Hepp in the other corner. Sam Hepp looking for someone. Kyle Nutt posted up. That's what Kyle Nutt's been wanting this whole game. The easy pop shot, too. Kyle Nutt has literally been posting up in that whole game, waiting for his with his arms up, just like you do on Madden with the press triangle, ask for the ball. <laughs> Okay, and he finally got it. We have a look at the top. Oh, Victorson cutting. Does not take it, though. Looks like he's going to drive in himself. Puts it up, two. That's textbook drive in. We have some subs coming in. Lance and Jordan Bush up. And for the other team, we have Victorson. Oh, those subs are going to be coming Eric in. Eric Victorson. Eric Victorson. Since he's going to cut, no. Going to take it to Caden in the corner. Caden's going to go throw it back up to Sam Hep. Sam Hep's going to take it at the top for three. Wow, that was just poor Oh, bounce coverage. back. He gets his own oh. rebound. Goes so far back. Looks like he's going to throw it to Isaac Stinson in the corner. Isaac Stinson's going to dribble, get stuck. Passes into, oh my gosh, it's on the ground. It looks wow. like Ken comes out with that. And then as Ryan Panzer, out of nowhere, passes the look. Looks going to drive in for the two. Plants. Wow, they called it on... Uh, Looks like Caden Nelson got a hand on that ball. Looks to me like a clean block, but then again, I'm not down there, and I don't know much. But looks like that's going to put look to the lawn for two. For the first one, he does a one-two. Up. Down. Look one for one for the night. Looks like 23 is going to come in. That's Zach Tower, and we're also going to have the other Victorson come in for the other Victorson. If that made sense, Victorson. You gotta specify which victor's. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Number two. Puts it up. No, watch the front of the rim. Here we go, Kay Nelson. I love MG. They're explosive right after the foul and they go right into it. Sam Hepp gonna dribble it back out, back pedals. Kyle that's still posted up. Kyle that's wide in the thing. Kyle that's gonna set the pick, doesn't take it. He's in the post. Puts it up, does a one two, spin move. Kyle Neck and Henry Houston have been carrying this team so far tonight. Ethan, can we get a stat on the points made by Kyle Nett? All right, Kyle Nett from inside the three-point line has a total of 10 points overall. Wow, that is almost one-fourth of the teams. Actually, that's more than one-fourth of the teams. Look at number 10's going to dribble it up back to the three. Looks going to do it. Pass to 11 on the outside. Looks looking for something. 11's going to pass up. Shoot it back to Victorson. Victorson with the three. No off the front of the backboard. Looks like 23 gets it back, 11 with the throwing, after throwing it back, and then he gets it tipped out. And they called the foul. Eric Victorson, 25% overall for uh, three-point shots tonight. I I don't really agree with that, but it looks like Victorson is going to come in for number 11, Erickson. I do not agree with that call at all. And it doesn't look like many of the MG people were either. Looks like we're going to have Victorson inbound. It looks going to run around. Throws into the other Victorson. Drop to look. Looks going to call up the play. Chill out a little bit. Ooh. Jordan Bishop with the easy still. Cross course Sam Hepp. Sam Hepp's going to slow it down. Almost gets stolen from behind. Kay Nelson looking around for his teammate. Kyle Nett post up again, as always, like his position. Dance around. Lance at the top. Looking back to Kaden Nelson. Kay Nelson going to throw to Sam Hepp. Sam Hepp's going to drive in. Pop shot. No. Fakes back. Throws it to Lance, gets stolen by number 10. Who's number 10 again, Ethan? Number 10 would be Rain Pans Panzer. All right, look at the top. Let's see what looks to do with it. Looks like we got some cutting by number 10. Does not work out. Victor Singh now cutting too. Looks still just looking around for a couple of players. 23 cuts now, nothing. Number 10 is going to have, which is our boy Panzer, 34, Victorson. Victorson's going to drive in himself, kind of back out himself too. Very independent player. It's going to drive in. Pop shot up in the paint. No. It's going to be MG's ball out on 23, which is, of course, Zach Tower. Ethan Panzer has come out really only second half. Do we have any stats on Ryan Panzer? Ryan Panzer. Let's see. So he's made one. Of, actually, no. He's had one foul and one two-point shot. That's all right. Looks like Kyle Nutt's going to be uh, taken out, and Trey Logan is going to be put back in. Gay Nelson's going to drive up. Henry Houston right behind him. Ethan Victorson actually not 
going too hard for the points tonight. Henry Houston fakes a three. Kane Nelson gets out of the way. Pans off to Kane Nelson. Kane Nelson going to drive himself. Kick back Sam Hepson going to drive in. Now puts it up. Big man behind the back. Wow. Layup. Easy. He honestly faked up uh, Nolan very well right there. Henry Houston and Sam Hep going in tonight. I am very impressed. Sam Hep coming out of the injury and just going ham. 23 puts it up for the three. Oh, off the rim and falls. Okay, Nelson driving him fast. Oh, back. I'm sorry, up. was that a three pointer? I'm pretty sure it was a two. Oh, he steps out. Trey Logan under the hoop. Not paying attention. Simple mistake. I do not know whether it was a two or three. Looked like a two. <laughs> are we going to go to the video replay? We are. Don't you love having an MGAV club? And also, you can watch your replay yourself by just clicking back on the video. I'm a normal community media on Facebook or YouTube. Ten's going to drive it himself. Going to fake it. Oh, puts it up. Two pop shots. Panzer's really good with driving in, backing out, and putting up those pop shots. Okay, Nelson's going to slowly burn it up. Going to see what to do with it. Look for people. We're going to have a timeout on MG. That was a two-pointer. That was a two-pointer. Wow, we have 46 people watching. Are you serious? I am fairly sure about wow. that. 40 well, for all those 46 people, I am very, very sorry that we are not good at this. But we try <laughs> our best. Am I right or am I right? We try our best. Hey, we've got the stats. We've got the decent commentary. I don't know how Steve does it all in one. But I don't know. I We, we ramp Steve too much. He deserves it. Honestly, he's too good. All right, buzzer called. 41-36 MG leads with 6.48 left to play in the second half. On the court for MG, we have Jordan Bishop, Caden Nelson, Sam Hep. Looks like we're going to have Henry Houston and... No, Henry Houston's still waiting to sub in. It's going to be Jordan Bishop and Kyle Nett. Jordan. Oh, I got confused. Classic. Okay, Nelson calling for the ball, calling for the play. He's getting double team mauled. He's getting spin move out of it. Triple team back over to Sam Hep. You better pass. Back to Kane Nelson. They're really playing aggressively. Okay, Nelson gonna drive himself. Sees the opportunity. Goes up. No. He is gonna get the foul called on him for a charge. Looks like Nolan got that one. That's gonna put Nolan to the line. No, it's gonna be a pass in from number 11, Erickson, to Nolan Look. Nolan Look taking it up slowly, waiting for the play, right time. MG play, still playing pretty passively here. Might look for the steals here. Here. I say here a lot. Man. Number 10, Panzer. Throws it in to 34. 34 puts it up. Easy two. 34 is our boy, of course. Victorson. That is Ethan Victorson. Okay, Nelson's going to drive down. Hands off. Henry Houston. Henry Houston for the three. Oh, that is textbook. That The hoop went inverted straight up and down. Nolan's going to go down. Nolan's going to dance around at the top looking for the cuts. Nothing he likes. Pass to Victorson. Victorson for the three to return it. And it's the same thing. It's going to be back and forth three. Okay, Nelson driving down again. Same formation as they did last time. Pass up to Sam Hepp. Sam Hepp's going to drive in, backs out, puts up the pop shot on the two. Negative. Tips it away. Oh! Looks like Henry Houston's going to go for the really fast. They're going to call the penalty on Nolan. Look, I do not know what Nolan did at all. Looks like he is not upset with that. <laughs> Looks like that's going to put Sam Hepp uh, inbound. Inbound way back to Nelson. Nelson's going to dance around, hand up to Henry Houston. Henry Houston's going to drive in, pass back to Sam. Pick by Houston. Sam up at the top by Caden Nelson. Caden Nelson's fast legs moving in. Jordan out for the side, does not like it. Throws back to Sam Hep at the top. Dancing around. Nelson back to Henry Houston. Henry Houston for the three. No, oh, oh. off the brick. Close, though. Back to Sam. Uh, Caden Nelson. Caden Nelson for the three does not count either. 
Man, it has been, I honestly, I've been watching Look going around. He cannot keep up with this. Look going to drive in. No, sorry. That's going to be Erickson, and they're going to call the foul. I don't think Oregon's can keep up with this. They're going way too fast for him. Looks like that was a foul on Jordan Bishop. Here we go. Victorson at the line as Eric Victorson, first one, as Ethan would say, does not fall. All right, don't get shaken, don't get shaken, don't get shaken. Here we go. I'm cheering on the other team because we're all inclusive here. Second one up for Erickson. Sophomore. Up, down. That puts it at 44 42. Two point game with four minutes and 45 seconds left to play. Okay, Nelson's going to drive down. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Zweifel's starting to yell. Starting to move around. Sees Henry Hughes in the corner. They're double teaming him. Throws back to Kyle Nett way back. Okay, Nelson's going to dance around, set to the pick, and drive in. Kick back to Henry Houston. Henry Houston's going to pass it off to Jordan Bishop. Jordan Bishop's going to drive in, kicks back. Sam Hepp for the three. Up, down. This is very entertaining to watch, no matter what, whether you like basketball or not. They're running around, passing, always on their feet, always moving. We have 11. Going to throw it to Erickson. Erickson. No, sorry. Victorson. Victorson going to dance around. Throw it to the other Victorson. Victorson outside. Going to throw it to 10. 10's going to get... Oh, Zwiefel's not happy about that call. They called the penalty. I'm pretty sure Houston. Number 10 is Painzer again. Painzer's going to be at the line. I do not... First one for the uh, Panthers, not Cougars, by the way. Panthers. Ethan doing some math here. Second one for Panzer. It's going to be thrown up. It's up, and it's down. It looks like we got some screeching from one of the benches. Not cool, man. Not cool. Okay, Nelson's going to drive down. He's going to throw it up to Henry Houston. Henry Houston's going to drive in. Kick. Puts it up himself. Pop shot. Nope. Kyle Nutt fighting for that rebound. Back to Kane Nelson. Kane Nelson for the three up at the top. Yup. Man, this is, they're playing very aggressively. The Panthers are all over him. It looks like MG is just, can we get a, Zwiefel is literally slamming the ground right now. Zwiefel is the most into this game I've ever seen in his life. Victorson up at the top of the key. Passes to number 11, Erickson. Back to Victorson. Victorson dances around, takes the three himself. No air ball. Jordan Bishop's right into his hands. Jordan Bishop's going to drive down slowly past to Kaden Nelson, which is right behind him. Kaden Nelson's dribbling back. He's watching for the play. Kaden Nelson off to Henry Houston. Henry Houston's just kind of chilling there, waiting for the right play. He's going to drive around. Kaden Nelson back up to the top. Air. Oh, Victorson all over the place. Back over to Henry Houston, just dancing back and forth. Henry Houston looking for somebody. Houston's going to drive in. Hand, nope. Oh, cross court to Jordan Bishop. Jordan Bishop grabs it. Sam Hepp at the top. Sam Hepp's going to drive in. Kicks it under Kyle Nett, right under it. No, he misses the easy layup. That happens. That happens. I think they, they were so worried about dancing on the top of the ring, they literally forgot about him. Looks like he's going to go to the line, which is going to be an easy two points, hopefully. So far, we have a six-point lead against the Panthers with 2.42 left to play. First one's going to go up. Yep. Looks like the Panthers team, or crowd, I should say, is getting pretty desperate and making some loud noises. Not cool, Ethan. Am I right? You are 100% right. Here we go. Found that second one. Easy swoosh. Zwiefel yelling. He's going to regret that in the morning. There we go. We got Look driving up. Passes to 11. Back to Look. Look up to Vickerson. Vickerson with a three from downtown. Nope. Uh, Sam Hepp gets a rebound. Passes over to Caden Nelson. Nelson's going to take this one up. Going through the legs. Doing the moves. Passes over to Henry Houston. Back to Caden Nelson. Wide open. They're going to keep moving on the feet. It's going to be a foul. Looks like Sam Hepp's going to inbound this one. 
I'm calling it now. Kaden Nelson's going to run over to the MG symbol right in the middle and try to catch this ball. Ready? Oh, did not. Kaden Nelson gets it. Calling the plays. Henry Hayes back in his corner waiting for the ball. Kaden Nelson get a drive. It's going to be a foul again. They're just going to keep following. Two minutes and eight seconds left to play. It's going to be a six-point lead in MG's favor. Oh, sorry. Eight-point lead in MG's favor. Sam Hep's going to inbound it again. Looks like it's going to be the same inbound. Sam Hep looking for somebody. Way back on the other side. Jordan Bishop takes it. He's going to run full on sprint. They're going to follow him again. Foul was on 30, which is Kinsling, which we have not seen yet. Ethan's been grinding out these. Have you been keeping track still? Yeah. No way. Who's that foul on then? Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't oh, see that it was Matt Kisling. Sam inbounds Kane Nelson behind again. Looks like Vickerson's going to guard him tight. And he loses it. It's going to be MG's ball. Looks like the Panthers were really hoping for the jump ball, but either way, it was in MG's uh, favor. Sam Hep going to inbound it again, man. These inbounds slowly chipping away at time. 157 left to play. Sam Hep slapping the ball right for the inbound play. Cannot find anybody. There we go. Took too long. Sam Hep's complaining about the time given. Just had to make sure all my calculations were correct after that uh, confusion between the two and the three. Looks like Jordan Bishop's going to go in for Lance Nelson. Looks like we're going to be back to our starters. Look, driving down. Looking for somebody. Victorson talk about the play. 11 siding the pick. Victor, uh, Nolan looks the wrong way. Goes in, diving pass, or shot, I should say. Does not fall. After a long list of rebounds, we have Sam Hep going in. And it's going to be a foul call. Sam Hep was running all over the court, trying to get to the hoop as fast as possible without getting the foul call. 135 left to play. Still the eight point lead. Looks like we have Lance Nelson going back in for Bishop. And. Henry Houston, running out of time, throws to Kane Nelson. Kane Nelson's going to dribble around, and Victorson's going to follow him again. Now, honestly, they have to be careful not to follow one of their best players out here. 132 left to play, and still the A point lead. And the Bishop is back in for Nelson. They keep subbing out. Is that some type of strategy? Nelson up at the line. Here we go. This is where we get the points now. Nelson up. Yup. You know, before Steve left, I was talking to Steve about how games always come down to free throws, no matter what level you're at. Yeah. Here we go. Second one. What's up? It's down. That puts it at a 10-point lead for MG. 132 left to play. Now, uh, Oregon really has to be careful. They're just going to keep following him, make sure they don't make them. They can only do so much. Looks going to drive in, kick it back out. Richardson's going to drive himself. Kicks back out to number 10. 10 puts it up. 10. Yup. I've seen a lot of driving from Nolan Look tonight. I know. I've also seen Ryan Panzer out at the top of the key making those threes win clutch, as you just saw. One minute, 18 left to play, and it looks like it's going to be a seven-point lead with MG 54-47. Threes as in the first three he made this game? Hey, you're the stat cheaper. Exactly. Yep. You said he made multiple threes, and I am correcting you. Sorry. It's hard to keep track of them when you're commentating. All right, so... So far in this game, it's actually been quite a high following game as usual towards the end of the game. Only a minute 18 left, 54 to 47 as you see on screen. Um, so far, our biggest scorer for the Monona Grove side, I believe, will be Sam Hep with four two-pointers and two three-pointers. Oh, maxing, ugh. Coming out to an overall of, ten, uh, no, 14 points. You got that, Ethan, there you go. Looks like um, Oregon only has one timeout, so they better use that sparingly since there is 1 minute 18 left to play, and they are down by 7, like we said before. Let's see what's happening. Oregon already on the court waiting. The classic hype-up song at YMCA. No copyright. 
Henry Houston with no two-point shots tonight. Really? Yeah. How many threes? threes? Four. Four, three, 12 points, and zero twos made. That's very impressive. Sam Hep, very impressive after he has been injured, like I have said before. Sam Hep's going to inbound it, dancing around. Throws it to Lance under the hoop. Back to K. Oh, it's going to get out. It's going to be MG's ball. Oregon ball. Oh, Oregon. Did uh, no, wait. No. Which way is You're right. Yeah. That's MG's ball. MG's ball. Yeah, yeah right. don't test me, boy. <laughs> Callum, that's going to pass it back. Henry Houston. Henry Houston's going to drive in. I think he was looking for the foul there. He was. Yeah, he is. He only gets away with the sh little shove. The crowd is not happy about that one. Kay Nelson's going to drive in, trying to draw the foul himself, it looks like. He's going to keep dancing around, dancing around, past the Henry Houston. Henry Houston's going the other way, and there goes the foul. Looks like it's going to be oh, possibly a reach call. Coach is not happy over there. The coach is not happy. It feels like both coaches are very intense right now. Kind of heated. They might want to cool off. Less than a minute to play. Still a seven-point lead. And it looks like MG will have the possession in their favor. Henry Houston at the line. Going to take two shots. So far, Panzer with three fouls. Really? Yeah. First one for Henry? Yep. Oh, Ooh. I called it too early. I jinxed it. And it was only one at the line. I'm sorry. I need, I need to learn basketball. Well, they are in the bonus, so if he made that one. It was one and one. one? Yeah. Looks like 11. Make gonna one, take it. One. Back to 10. Ryan Panzer. Ryan Panzer's going to do him. Pop shot. Up. Oh, bounces around in. That was Ryan Panzer? That was Ryan Panzer. Or, we keep saying Ryan. We, Rain. Rain, sorry. Well, I said Ryan once. You said Ryan every other time. Well. Well. Well, Oregon is out of timeouts, even. <laughs> and that will leave us with 40 seconds left to play, uh, both in the bonus. So that is one and one. And, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I think it's going to come down to... Um, trying to wear at the time for MG, and I don't know if they're going to continue to follow or they just might try to grab the ball as fast as possible and throw up those three shots and probably hit it out to Eric Victorson, who has been on fire with those threes. How many threes have Eric Victorson hit today? Eric Victorson tonight with only one three-pointer. Who is who? What player has hit the, a lot of threes? Actually, they're team? all even. Really? Yeah. And who am I thinking of? I don't know. I feel bad now. I mean, if you look at Nolan Look, Carter Erickson, and Corey Moore, all with, uh, or not Corey Moore, sorry, Ryan Panzer, Car Carter Erickson, and Nolan Look, all with three two-pointers. That would make sense. All right, <laughs> looks like Oregon has been taking all the timeouts and still the first one out there. Zwiefel has been taking his time with his whiteboard out there. Zwiefel making sure they know what's up and what's on the line here. That is on the line. Sam Hep with the inbound over to Caden Nelson. I believe that'll be a foul on number 10. Is that Carter Erickson? Yes, that is. I can't see the number. <laughs> They're both blocking our angle. Or is it Matt Kissling? Yep. It is Matt Kissling. <laughs> Don't you hate when they block their numbers? Three fouls as well for Matt Kissling. Caden Nelson up at the line. So far tonight at the line, he is two for two. Easy money. No, he missed one earlier. I just called it early. Next one up? Yes. That Remember? was Henry Houston. That was? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't believe it was, but we'll check I know the it tape. was. Oh, he's got a spreadsheet on me. Here we go. Second one. Goes a little knee bent up. Down. 38 Easy. seconds four left. Four. Clem's going to run. Nolan's just going to run down himself. Look, that is Nolan. Look. Keep calling by his first name. 34 air balls that hands it off to K. Nelson. K. Nelson speeding around. Good. Drive back pass and throws it and loses it. Reach is going to be called on 11. 11 being Carter, Carter Erickson. Erickson. That's going to put Henry Houston up at the line. It's going to be a uh, bonus. Oh, that puts him in the double bonus. It's going to be two automatically. First one is up and down. There you go. <laughs> no one look cons in place here, making sure they know what to do as soon as this drops. Look at MG in the back. They're not letting anything happen there. They are ready. Looks like no one's going to quickly push in. 
And time's gonna roll as soon as Victorson touches that ball. Victorson does one, two, puts up the three, tries to get those fast points. No, ten, ten gets rebound, throws it off to look, look, throws around to the other Victorson. Victorson puts up the three himself. No, flashback to no one. No one puts it up, air balls again. Looks like it's gonna be out. No, he's gonna save it. Number two, Kane Nelson's gonna drive down. He's gonna try to drive the fall here. And no, he's gonna keep it. And, and that's, that's gonna be the game. game. Wow. That is gonna be a score, 58 to 49, MG's favor. Wow, Ethan. That is a beautiful game. I'm so happy that one of those uh, the seniors had their last game, a good one. Or not last game. Not last game. Hello? One of their special games be a win. Um, Ethan, can you give us some post-game breakdown stats? All right. So obviously start of the game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, we had some very, a very slow game as halftime went over to 20-17. to 17. Uh, Some big players for halftime. Obviously you have Caden Nelson, but he only had one inside uh, make with the one two-pointer. Um, some big players throughout the game uh, are Sam Hep with the four total inside the three-point line shots, totaling out to eight points for him. And then you add on his two three-point shots up at 14 points tonight for Sam Hep. Uh, Henry Houston coming out. He did start off or end off with that one missed free throw, but he came back with two more after that. Um, four total three-pointers throughout the throughout the game tonight. Huge addition to the team. Um, Kyle Nett, huge inside. Every single time inside, he was always pushing into that paint and waiting for that ball. When he got the ball, obviously he made it because he only missed one inside all night. That is absolutely poggers. Going back over to the Oregon side, some big players, Nolan Look and R Nolan Look, Rain Panzer, and Carter Erickson. Though Carter Erickson not getting a single, not getting a three throughout the game. Uh, Nolan Look and Rain Panzer both with even of three uh, two pointers and one three pointer throughout the game. Huge players, huge players. Um, a lot of fouls throughout the end of the match through from uh, Oregon overall. Kind of rough, but. We had a lot of missed opportunities from Oregon, especially in the beginning of the game, as they could have been far ahead of MG with the amount of uh, points that they had missed. Overall, from free throws, you had five total missed, uh, most of them from actually Eric Victorson, uh, but then he did come back to make three out of the seven that he shot. So that has been a huge MG game tonight. MG win with a total of 58 to 49. That will put him a record of 15 and five. And as always, if you want to listen to all of our games, girls, boys, football, anything related to Monona or our school district, you can tune into Monona Community Media on YouTube or Facebook. And next game, we'll actually have our real announcer, Steve, back. Thanks, so, Steve-o. So you don't have to deal with our um, Amateurs. Subpar, Subpar announcing. That has been MG Monona Grove Boys Basketball. Thanks for tuning in.